Oops. See his nose move? Did you say he was very behind it? Yeah. Take a breath. See his nose flare? Okay. So he's very obvious. He, it's really good. It's really good. So take a breath. Did you say it? <laughs> was great. So, he's not breathing when he's panting. I mean, he's breathing, but you know, he's not taking a breath. So he's taking a breath, and then you see him, that when, the, when the nostrils expand, he's blowing that breath out, so you know he's taking one in. Otherwise, he wouldn't be blowing it out. So, and he's real easy to see, so I want you to sit down, and if you don't see it right away, I don't want you to worry. You don't have to mark this behavior. This is one behavior you do not have to mark. And nor should you say anything. This is all about, you know, relaxation. That's right. So you put it up, and you can put it up here near your nose or up away, uh, away from his nose. He takes a breath, and you just, I... I go from this, and then I go under his chin and, and deliver it. Okay? Take it. Yeah. So. Well, I get my laptop. So I'm actually going to. So you can throw, she had the we throw a, a reset cookie. Um, to let him know I got Yeah, one. you can just throw, get it and toss it so we can see it. What's up, Haven? Haven. There you go. Where is it? Now he knows that you're the, um, yeah. Just back over there. Just okay. back over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. That was so good. You. <laughs> so you want to do this about um, oh about ten times if you can, okay? Otherwise, just five. Between five and ten, do it as long as as he's enjoying it, and you're good because uh, which you don't want him jumping or getting excited. You want him to be calm. If you lower this just a little bit, he won't be so apt to go up. So you can put it out a little bit. Yeah. There. Now underneath and give it to him. Yeah. Perfect. If you have it really high, he'll, he he might, wants to come he back. wants to come up for it. So if we just lower the hand a little bit, you did good, Haven. You did so good, Haven. You did so good. So was um, everything that I read to you clear? Yeah. Okay. So that's the most important thing is that I've explained myself. <laughs> Even though I had to read it. <laughs> I'm madly, I'm madly putting it in my own words. So. All right. So, um. This is fun, huh? This is fun. It's so fun. So the next thing we're going to do is touch work. So often people come into uh, 
a class, and this is really set up for group classes, but they come into the class and, and they're ignoring the dog and the dog is doing this and they're like, oh my God, these people are going to judge me. And they, you know, they ignore the dog instead of, instead of touching it and getting it to, that's not yours, that's mine. Can I have, I know you want to play, don't you? So we'll let you play in a minute, okay? So we'll let you play in a minute. So one of the things I do is when I'm walking, I just do that. The back of your hand is less, and you'll see it because you'll do the front and then it's just less obtrusive for the dog. Well, what's threatening? Yes. If someone comes at him like this, he's more like oh, yeah, he's gonna if do I it. ask him to turn their palm up. He'll stop backing off. Yeah, but run, running it down his uh, his back or you know the side or the top of his head with the back of your hand. So it's just it's a really it's a trusting type of touch. Does he know this kind of bed? Yes. Okay. So we don't have one at home, but he has used that. Kind of he bed has used it. Okay. So. What I was going to do is put it down and put it something comfortable on top of it. And then put something close to it that I can sit on. And uh, so um, you're going to do the touch, and, and then we're going to do the inside of the thigh touch. So that's going to go like, well, let's get something really nice that I think you'd like. Yes, we will. Oh, I can't say. <laughs> yes, you are. You are so handsome. Everything here is a pretty clean treat. So, I'm going to just start with the mat work and we'll go into the second touch in the inner thigh, okay? So, the mat work, I just put the treats on the mat. I don't give him the treats, I put them on the mat. I blend how I put them so he can be. Eating. He's not used to having something else on the mat. Where is going on? Yeah. It's just novel. <laughs> just takes a little bit of time. So we want him to chill on this mat. So our main goal is to have the dog lay down and just chill out on the mat. But we've got to teach the dog that this is the best place oh, ever. Oh, like it. Mm-hmm. So the best place to train this is wherever he likes to chill. Hey, 